In other news tonight, right now, a local grandmother are calling for a change in policy at Green Primary School after she says her grandson was embarrassed by the cafeteria staff. News 5's Emily Hamilton is live in our newsroom. And Emily, the grandmother says a misunderstanding led to her grandson having his lunch taken away right in front of his classmates. Tracy and Mike Jefferson just turned nine years old this past Tuesday, and he says what happened at lunch made it his worst birthday ever. I got... I got my cheesy breadsticks. I put in my number, and when I was going to check out, she, she, she didn't, the lunch lady didn't say anything, took away my cheesy breadsticks and sauce, put them over there, and took out bread, cheese on bread, out of the fridge, and put it on my lunch tray. Jefferson came home from school on Friday, August 30th, with a note saying he owed $9 for his lunch account. His grandmother, Diane Bailey, says she called first thing the following week when school was back in session to straighten things out, and she thought her grandson was now in good standing with the school. There you go. That's my Jeffy! Jefferson and his two brothers just moved here from Virginia to live with grandma and are supposed to be enrolled in the free and reduced lunch program. Bailey said she was told by administration there that she could write a check for her grandson's lunch until the free and reduced lunch paperwork was processed. But it was this past Tuesday that Jefferson's lunch was taken from him and replaced with an alternative of cheese and bread. In my mind, he didn't owe anything. I owed the money, the, the, the parents, the school district. And my other question is, if they take that food off of your tray, they have to throw it away. You would take the food off of a tray, you can't reserve it. You're going to throw it away and not feed the child? That doesn't make sense to me. We reached out to the school administration and they said they believe they followed their guidelines in this situation, but they are looking into it to make sure. And we'll have more on their response tonight on News 5 at 11. Live in the newsroom, Emily Hamilton, News 5.